This is a True Blue Extra. Welcome inside our BYU TV studios. I'm Dave McCann with basketball analysts Blaine Fowler and Steve Cleveland. We're a few days from opening night, which is Friday night on BYU TV. And uh, Tennessee State's in town. What do you think? Well, I think it'll be a bigger challenge than the two preseason games, you know, the, and the exhibition games, I guess we call them. There'll be more talent. This is a team that um, was pretty solid last, last season. Um, but it's still not going to be a big enough challenge to maybe get the attention of these players that you would hope it right. would. I thought in the Finley game they came out and played a little bit. Steve, I don't know. What do you think? It played a little bit flat to begin the game until that first time out. I think the first time out, I think the coaching staff reminded them that, uh, you know, we have a responsibility no matter who we play to play hard. And I don't think they played real hard, and I don't think they played with a great deal of energy. And then I think the guys coming off the bench did a solid job. Cusick gave them a spark. Josh Sharp gave them a spark. And I think the zone defense gave them a spark. So I think Coach got into them a little bit. You could see the energy level there. And then a couple of elbows to the, to the nose and to the yeah. chin and the face. Those were kind of wake-me-ups as well. And consequently, the guys started to roll. Okay, we're going to play a game here on our True Blue Extra. It's called On the Clock. And I'm going to ask a question, and each of you have 15 seconds to give your answer and defend it. It'll be a challenge because neither of you can ever give an answer in less than 15 <laughs> seconds. And, uh, and then defend it. So here we go. Our first question, uh, who is the hidden talent on the men's basketball team? And Blaine, you're on the clock. Uh, we can't do the obvious. We know who the, the talent, uh, the Haws and those guys. I'm going to go with Delgado. He's going to be the Y factor this year. He's going to hit outside shots when they need it in big games. He will be the hidden talent. All right, Steve. Uh, I'm going to go with someone that's actually been on the team. I think that Josh Sharp is going to have an opportunity to make an impact in this team defensively. He's going to have opportunities because there's a spot open. He's going to get minutes. I think he's going to rise to the occasion. Okay, question number two. Biggest weakness on the court for BYU? I, I think right now it's post-scoring when Davies is not in the game. So they've got to come up with somebody that will give him consistent scoring in the post when he comes out of the ball game. I mean, we'll see how that goes. And I'll take it from the opposite view. I think post-defense is very suspect. Uh, they play deep behind the players. They're not pushing guys off the block. You're not going to get a true test with Finley, but uh, when they get against some tough bigs, it's going to be a challenge. It's like crossfire. Well, we're both worried about the post, like though. We're, yeah, we're both I worried about post, exactly. offensively exactly. and defensively. All right, toughest opponent on BYU's schedule. Boy, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say Baylor on the road. Baylor on the road. Because they've got really good guards coming back. Heslip and Pierre Jackson are both back. I think they had a great guard line, and they've got talent. So that one on the road is going to be my pick. I like Iowa State. Uh, I like what they've done there uh, coming off 25-plus win season. They have a number of young men back. Uh, it's a tough place to play. I've coached in that building. He's got the thing going, former NBA guy. Uh, I think Iowa State is going to be a tough place to play. Okay, if you have some questions for these two, you can get it to us uh, Tweet them to us at BYU TV Sports with the hashtag TB Extra. All right, so keep an eye on that. So we've got uh, the opener Friday night. How many wins this season for BYU? Uh, this, this is another 20-plus win season, 25-win right. season. Their schedule just isn't tough enough to challenge them early on, and so I'm, I will not be surprised if they get to 25 wins this 25? season. 25? I would say 26 or 27. I see them getting 13 probably wins in conference play. Uh, and then 12, 11, 12, win a game or two in the tournament. I, I like 26. 26. That would be a good year. Cougars wrapped up the exhibition season Saturday with a win over Finley. We had a man in the Marriott Center to capture how the fans feel about the upcoming season. My favorite player is Brandon Davies because I just think he's so cool and awesome. Brandon Davies. Brandon Davies. He just dominates the post. He's the man. Tyler Hawes. He's pretty much my older brother. Number two. I don't know his name. I don't know many of the players in the team this year, but I like watching Jimmer. Had well. I think they'll only lose probably six times. 25 wins or more. I think we're going to win 30 this year. Definitely 30 or more. I believe in BYU. 20 or more. We're going all the way this year. We're going all the way this year. Uh, I just really like the atmosphere. It's, it's really fun. All the fans are really good. Just being with my dad and watching the game. Getting to chill with friends. Just the energy of the game. Probably because it's the main reason I came to BYU is because the athletics. Go Cougars! Go Cougars! Well, there, you go. there will always be a Jimmer reference, won't there? <laughs> In everything BYU basketball. Steve Blaine, thank you. Join us Friday night from the Marriott Center. It's the season over. BYU and Tennessee State, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Live right here on BYU TV. For Blaine and Steve and all of us at True Blue, I'm Dave McCann. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.